What is going on, y'all? In today's video, we go offshore on the 36-foot prowler, and we go slow pitch jigging. We're using accurates, and here's one of the jigs we use. And actually, the slow pitch jigging outperformed the live bait. So let's get into this video. Doubled up. You got a big fish nip? Yeah, I'm just going to go out of here. It's it. First keeper gag on the jig. Wish I had the GoPro set up. Big gag again. Not a huge gag, but definitely not Simeon's a nice gag. Simeon's got a big gag. Jared's got a nice gag. Oh boy, Jared. You're getting boosted. Jared has a who? Sure, it's off and put more drag on it. Wow, he's got a big fish. Uh, I'm not sure. George. Uh, she got a big, big gag here. Simon's got a beast of a gag. He's not stopping. He's going back down. I wouldn't go down. Oh, no, he came off. Well, he was not stopping for nothing. You should have put more drag on it. No, he pulled. I was way up in the column. I was way up in the column. They are hammering it. Got hit like three times. See me going on again. Oh. They're hammering it. They're utterly hammering it. I can't keep it down. I can feel them hitting it. Good fish. Is it, Max? I don't see him yet. Getting him to stick it. Look at that. I don't think so. Yeah, Max, okay. Max got a big gag. Max has got a gag. That's a nice gag. I lost the top hook now. Really? How? That one. That one you got cut on. Oh, you yeah, hooked something great. pelagic or something. I got a free line rod Oh, I have a, the Stella's rigged up for free line. Go get it. So we passed up the. Here's. Well, he's getting the gag on the jig. Here's the thing. Mahi, you're on the boat. Thomas with a gag. Is that a fish? Jared's got a big gag. That was a shark. Color. Looks like a red snapper, doesn't it? And it looks like a gag. Is it a gag? Huh? It is a gag. Or is it a scamp? Got a gag. Nice, nice gag. Nice gag. On the jig. Nice gag on the jig. Go find more. Yeah. Good fish on the jig. Broke you. Got broke. That was a big fish. I, did, I had him off the bottom though. Jared, I'm going under the boat. Uncle George, are you, are you down? No. Jared. Can we pivot the boat around? Any more of those monster hooks? Can you pivot the boat, Jared? Yeah. Pivot the boat. Here. I'll do it. If you won't hear you. What's going on? Is 
time I got broke by a big fish. Here, can you help? Put these right down. Here, Simon, hold this. Go out any more further? No. Uh oh, that's not good. I would stop and put it just to put it to everything you got. Did you pull out a lot of braid? Yeah, there's still tons out. He's not shaking his head though. Was he shaking it before? Not really. Is he on the bottom? Oh, he's super full three. Jordan, you might have to fight, fight it. Can we fight it for you a little bit? Yeah, try it. It's tight. Very tight. Yeah. Oh, I felt something switch. You're gaining line on it, though. What if it is a war saw? I felt something switch. Ooh, big head shake. How much line did he take out, Max? What if it's a wahoo? Man, lots. Took out a lot of line. Oh, oh cut. That's sharp. sharp. Man, we lost too many jigs. <laughs> we need to get another fish on the jig. Who's pulling? What do you think it is? Probably see a scam. Oh, he's digging though. That's fighting pretty hard for a scam. Yeah, I know. He was dead before, now he's fighting. So, I don't know. Gag or red snapper, probably. I'm calling red snap. That'd be nice. The jig bite has been hot. Simon's been high hook. Come on. He has me tied up. He also basically tied everyone's leader. There we are, we're close. No color yet. That's a curve. That's a curve picked up. Oh, there's drift. Oh. Still no call. Oh, he's there right there. It looks like a gag. gag. Looks like a gag. That's a Lower. big. He was. It's a gag. It's a nice one. Wow, that's a nice, nice, nice gag, gag on the jig. That's the biggest gag we've caught. Nice gag on the jig. Some pictures of it. Was caught on a vertical jig, well, slow pitch jig. So let's get the picture. Big fish on the jig. Chart? Probably. Cobia. Kubera. He's digging. Pull and drag. line is out. Not a terrible line anymore. I don't think it's a shark. I think it's a big jack in my opinion. That'd be. You're not having four big groups. I see him. It's big. It's not a it's not a shark. I don't think it is. It's an AP giant now. It's not a shark. AJ. Or is that a red snapper? AJ. Oh, that's an AJ. That's a big AJ. That's a monster. That's a huge AJ. 
get the gap. It's so. a gag. Yeah. Just gap it so we can unhook it. Get his it's big a guy. gag. Oh, oh my gosh. It's a huge AJ. Let's get the gap. It's like sixty pounds. Wow. Huh? No. No. This one is unhooked. Lots of big one. Oh, That's like what? You can hook just the hook. I think I can. No, I, I'll be careful. Yeah, just give yeah, us the leader. Give me some leaner. But can you hold on to it? You don't want to get. Oh, he just got smacked. Just hook the gap and <laughs> that, wow. That's a big oh, I'm not. He only has one hook left. Wow. Wow. Goodbye, boy. slow fish jig bites i personally got on i'm actually gonna have a part two to this video coming next week as we just had way too many clips and we just had some awesome fish on the jigs the jig bite outfish live bait and dead bait it was probably 70 percent of the fish were caught on jigs this trip which that's the first time we've done that i think a big part to that was that our trolling motor messed up so we were drift fishing compared to anchoring and i think when you drift fish the jig gets to cover more water and if a lot more fish see it and it's a reaction strike so then they'll hit it but this last year i actually got my first slow pitch jig set up so let me show it to you it's a accurate boss valiant and it's a two-speed reel so this is the reel you want you want to get a two-speed reel and accurate is one of the best reels and it's very smooth the rod i have is a power spell two or no power spell special not the two and it's a 200 gram to 420 gram PE two to four. And this is can cover most of the jigs that you'll need for the water that I fish in in the 150 to 300 foot range. And you can even use the deep drop. Like if you're going deep drop and you want a jig, I could probably use that rod too, but I might need to buy an upgraded version. The crew that I normally go with, Jared, Thomas, and Simeon, they've been jigging probably now for 10 years or so. And I recently just started getting into it. But even just five years ago, this is the jigs they were using. It's a Shimano jig. I don't know the true name, but this is considered a vertical jig. So it's not really a true slow pitch. So you can just jig it fast in the water column and fish will chase it. Then like maybe three, four years ago, this is what they were using. A Shimano flat fall jig. And what it does is this is basically a slow pitch jig but there's some good japanese ones that they make out there that are a lot better than this one now so you would jig it up and when you then you let the bait fall back down and it like will flutter in the water column jig it up and the bait just like flutters down like that and the fish just cannot resist it and then these last two years or so they've gotten some like really advanced slow pitch jigs that have really good action I haven't purchased any of those yet, but I'm about to. But this is what Jake Slowpitch Jig bought. I bought recently. It's a Daiwa one, and it has the same thing. You jig it up, and it will flat fall down like that. And then it has different actions. Some of them like will dart like this, or just fall slowly flutter. There's just so many different actions of Slowpitch Jigs, and I'm really just starting to get into it, and I really enjoy it. But I'm going to make some more slow pitch jigging videos and live bait videos soon as the offshore bite has been really good lately. So make sure to stay tuned, hit that subscribe button below as I be posting weekly videos and see you next time.